If you want to know how to create the perfect website about page, we're starting right now. If you want to transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm Wes McDowell, web strategist for The Deep End, and if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss out. Just click the little subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you never miss another video you need to succeed online. Okay, so today's video is all about the about page on your website. So by the end of this, you're gonna have all my best tips to really make yours stand out and be as impactful as possible. Now this is really important because the about page or the about us page, whatever you wanna call it, is usually the second most viewed page on any website right behind the home page, which means it's very heavily factored when customers are deciding who they wanna work with. So it's really important that we get it right. So the main goal of any about page is to make a connection with your customers and ultimately humanize your brand because people actually love doing business with people that they like and trust, not so much with faceless corporations. So I wanna show you the seven things you're definitely gonna to wanna to nail down to maximize the impact of your about page to earn trust and ultimately drive sales, whether that means appointments, bookings, or actually selling products. Okay, so starting off with number one, and this is gonna sound really counterintuitive, but your about page really isn't about you. So as with every element on your website, you need to turn it around and tie it back to your customer. Specifically, you want to address the benefits that you're going to get for your customers or clients. So if you're an accountant, you're going to talk about your dedication to getting your clients every deduction that they're entitled to. Or if you're a salon, you're going to talk about the amazing results you get for your clients. So anytime you talk about yourself as a business, you're going to want to find a way to turn that around into a tangible benefit for your customer. Now this really helps to think about it in terms of a transformation. So talk about that transformation you bring to your customers or clients. Simply talk about the before state and then what you do to bring them to a happier after state. Okay, so next up is your mission statement and story. So people love a good story and the right reason for you doing what you do is gonna go a long way toward getting people to relate to your brand and your business, especially if that overlaps with your customer's own experience. So I really want you to talk about why you do what you do other than the money side of it. Obviously, if you're in business, the money side is very important, but why else do you do what you do? Uh, who do you help? And why do you love helping those particular people? And if you have a really great origin story about how you got into this business in the first place, people will definitely wanna know about that. For instance, for my business, The Deep End, I might say how I work with small to medium-sized businesses to maximize their website so they can fill their business with many more of their ideal customers. I also might talk about how I come from an entrepreneurial family, so I've had a front row seat to see all the biggest challenges that small business owners can face, and I really want to help as many small businesses as possible overcome those challenges using their website. Okay, so number three, you wanna talk about what makes you different. So there's likely to be many competitors that do what you do, uh, maybe even in your own area. So you wanna talk about specifically, what do you bring to the party that's different, special, or unique? But remember, you wanna keep it benefit-driven. So I like to think of this as talking about the perks that people are gonna get for working with your business. I had a recent client who is a really high-end luxury car rental agency. So um, since their pricing is definitely on the higher end of that spectrum, we wanted to focus on those benefits or perks that people would get above and beyond what they would get from one of their competitors. So we talked about the fact that they had late model cars, free pickup and delivery, uh, and more appealing fuel and mileage options than what their competitors offer. So this way you're talking about what makes your business uh, unique or special, but you're putting it in terms that mean something to your customer. In other words, you're letting them know what's in it for them. Okay, number four, you're gonna to wanna to use your about page to reinforce your brand. So every brand has a voice, a unique voice, whether it's funny like Taco Bell or Progressive, or more quirky like Virgin, or more down to earth and natural like Burt's Bees. And yes, these are all big brands, but it's important to bring up because you can learn a lot from them. They all have a really strong voice 
personality and point of view, and they use it very consistently across everything. So your about page is a great way to reinforce your unique brand personality. And it's really just all about using the right tone to address all the other elements we're talking about here. And no matter what your brand personality is, I definitely recommend using the first person here. So using words like me, or we, and definitely avoid using the third person here. Um, it just creates a needless distance between you and your customers. Even though you may think it sounds more professional, it really just comes across as cold. Okay, and your about page is a perfect place to add a little social proof. Basically here, you're just providing some evidence that you've actually helped other people in the past. You know, because people are generally um, very adverse to taking risks. And by seeing that you've helped other people just like them, that really helps uh, mitigate that risk and it makes people feel better about doing business with you. So this can come in the form of testimonials or reviews or even screenshots of complimentary messages you get from customers on social media. You can show logos of companies that you've worked with or logos of media outlets that may have covered you like newspapers or news stations or even blogs. Okay, number six is keep it visual. So of course people hate reading long walls of text um, and most people will just scan a web page rather than read it. So you really want to format it with those people in mind. So think about what makes the most sense to show as written text and what might make an even better video. You might want to film a short behind the scenes or a how we work type video that really gives people a glimpse at the people behind the business and what the process is going to be like working with you. When you do this, people will feel like they know you a little bit and you're definitely going to stand out uh, for most of your competition. Not to mention that video is just a much more consumable medium than written text, which means way more people are actually going to receive your message than if it were just text alone. And videos are actually also perfect for social proof. So you could use a testimonial video or a case study video where either you or a team member explains how you helped another customer in the past. You're of course also gonna wanna include lots of images, you know, especially real people uh, who work for the business. You know, remember a relatable business is a memorable business. Another way I like to make a page more uh, visual is by using icons to get key concepts across. Uh, and I definitely like to use these for those perks or benefits that we talked about. And as with any page on your website, you're gonna wanna use short paragraphs, lots of white space, bullet lists, and headlines. And number seven, you're definitely gonna want to make your about page an opt-in opportunity. So you're gonna wanna end it with a clear call to action, whether that's a direct response, uh, to book a consultation with you or schedule an appointment or to actually buy something, or it could just be an opt-in form to get more leads on your email list. And I did just do a video all about using your website to get leads. So if you wanna get that video, just click right up here for that. Okay, now that was a lot to cover, but now I wanna hear from you. And I wanna know specifically, which of these items are you currently getting right on your site? Or which could use some improvement. So please leave those in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you have any questions about any of this, leave them below as well. I will read them all and answer as many as I can. All right, so if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, you're definitely not gonna wanna miss out on future videos. Just click the circle icon right over here to subscribe. And if I can help you out with any of this we talked about today, just click the little box over here to get your free strategy session just between you and me. All right guys, Wes McDowell here for The Deep End and I'll see you in our next video.